our theme is going to be this week. It's art. And so when you guys go to school, you're going to have art classes. I bet you create art at your own house. Do you have coloring books? Yeah. I used to have coloring books with crayons. Yep. Maybe you have some watercolors at home or just some markers. Yeah. And so art is all around us. And so we're going to have a theme this week with art. And so we're going to start off by reading a story. And then we're going to go over some vocab. And then we are going to uh, go on a little field trip within Morris. And so I'm hoping you look forward to that. And then we'll finish up with a craft, OK? Yeah, sound fun? OK. So I have our first book here. It's called my Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. And so I'm guessing you've heard of Dr. Seuss before, right? Yeah. So this book is about art by Dr. Seuss. Many Colored Days. Some days are yellow. Some days are blue. On different days, I'm different too. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different colored days. On bright red days, how good it feels to be a horse and kick my heels. On other days, on bright blue days, I flap my wings. So there's a little bird this time instead of a horse. Some days I feel sort of brown and then I feel slow and low and low down. When I feel brown, I like to take a nap. Kind of like what this bear is doing. Then comes a yellow day and we kind of busy, busy, buzzy, B. That's kind of like every day. Yeah, sometimes you're busy too. Mm -hmm. Gray day. Everything is gray. I watch, but nothing moves today. So this is a little owl, it looks like. Then, all of a sudden, I'm a circus C on my orange seal. On my orange days, that's how I feel. I bet your mom and dad know what it's like when you're on your orange days and you're full of energy. Yeah. Green days, deep, deep in the sea. Cool and quiet fish. That's me. On purple days, I'm sad. I groan and I drag my tail. I walk alone. Little dinosaur up in the corner. Oh, I love but, but when my days are happy, pink, it's great to jump and not think. <laughs> then come my black days. Mad and loud, I howl. I growl at every cloud. This looks like a very ang angry dog, or maybe it's even a wolf. Then comes mix-up days and wham, I don't know what I am. So we have all the different paintings from inside the book, all on one page. But it turns out, but yeah, but it all turns out all right, you see. And I go back to being me. And you see, we're all a combination of all those colors. So that was that book. I, I enjoy it just because I like the paintings on the inside. And so now I'm going to show you the presentation of the uh, vocab words. So we'll go here and present. And so we have our Art Week vocabulary words. So on to the next one. We have an artist. And so an artist is a person who creates art. And so maybe, I, th I bet you're an artist, right? If you have crayons and a coloring book, that means you create art. And so you're an artist. Or maybe you're like 
there's also, when you're older, you can be like this lady here or this man here, and they get paid to create their own art, and people will buy that art. And I'm not that good, but I'm also an artist because I had crayons at home, and sometimes I still do color. And now we have a gallery. And so a gallery is a place where art is shared. And so we actually, on our field trip, get to go and see a gallery. But here you can see the different paintings and pictures of art that are hanging up around here. And so that's what a gallery is. And now this last place is the Prairie Renaissance Culture, Cultural Alliance. And so this is a nonprofit, a gallery and a store that is in Morse. And so if you want to visit here, uh, this is where we're going on tour but also um, you can go here with your parents and like look around because they have lots of art to see. And so here's a little map here of where they are in Morse and then there's the address here. So you can pause that and then go and visit it sometime. And so let's see. And now I'm gonna pause and we're gonna head over to our field trip place and we're gonna read two more books from two more different guests. And then we're gonna go on a field trip and look around what they have to offer inside the store and the gallery. And there may even be a special guest there, okay? So I'll see you over there, okay, bye. Hi kids, we're back for another week of story time and we're here at the art gallery. And we have a very special guest reading a very special book from an artist who is actually with us here today, and we'll get to see her later on in the tour. But now I'm gonna give it off to my friend and she's gonna read you this book. Hi boys and girls, my name is Liz, and I'm going to show you a picture book written by an artist, Faith Mills, about her dog friend, Dakota. Dakota is a poodle, and he loves wearing disguises. Here you see him wearing his uh, summer at the beach disguise with a nice straw hat and sunglasses. Here's Dakota and he's wearing his headband and he's chilling. Here's Dakota wearing his rock star disguise. You see he's got star-shaped sunglasses and a studded collar. He looks cool, doesn't he? And here we see Dakota wearing his movie star disguise with more sunglasses and a punk hairstyle and a cool scarf. Dakota really gets around. Here's Dakota just chilling again with his headband on. Here's Dakota, he's going fishing. He's wearing his fishing hat and his sunglasses. Here's Dakota wearing, what are those he's wearing? Antlers? It's Dakota as, a, as Santa's helper. Here we see Dakota with funny glasses and big eyebrows. I think he's going to go to a comedy club, don't you? Here's Dakota wearing a hat and it makes me, this hat makes me think that he, this is his private eye disguise. What do you guys think? And here's Dakota wearing his coonskin cap. He's going out into the woods, just like Daniel Boone. Here's Dakota with his people. He's enjoying the sunrise or the sunset looking out over the ocean. Dakota has a great life. Hi, I'm going to read another story that is a favorite of mine and it's actually a story that was written and had the pictures done by the same person. That book is called Where the Wild Things Are, and the story and the pictures are done by a man named Maurice Sendak. This says, 
The knight Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another and another. His mother called him wild thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still. And he tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and they called him the most wild thing of all. And they made him the king of all wild things. And now cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Let the wild rumpus start. Let the wild rumpus start. And Max, the king of all wild things, said, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things was lonely and wanted to be somewhere where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said, no. And the wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible yellow eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him and it was still warm. Hi boys and girls. My name is Rhoda and I'm a volunteer at the Prairie Art and Gifts, which is a store and a gallery downtown Morris. We're gonna talk a little bit about all of the art that we have in our store. So behind me, you can see a very cool sculpture. He's made out of wood and he's a dinosaur. And one of our artists made him and he actually made some little ones as well, but he's a wood carver. We have 40 different artists in our store and they do all different kinds of art. And so we're going to walk around a little bit and let you see what we have on display. All of the art that you're going to see is actually for sale. So you can buy art, but you can also come in and just take a, a look and experience art and just have some fun seeing all of the creative things that people do in Morris. Art can be almost anything. One of the pieces that we have here is called 
found art and it's a sculpture that's made out of all kinds of old pieces of equipment and tools and it's turned into a really cool creature that could be almost anything you want to think of it is if you use your imagination. We also have things that you sort of think of when you think about art and that's paintings. We have paintings on the wall and they're done with different kinds of paint. And so we have people that use watercolors and people who use what's called acrylics and oils. So there's lots of different ways to make a painting. And you can see there's everything from cranes, to scenery, to a bird's nest, to people walking on a street fair. Art can be about almost anything. Sometimes we don't think about art as being something that you can use or even wear, but it is. We have clothing and we have masks and they are made by hand. They are also dyed and dyeing means you have special colors that put designs into fabric or into material. And so all of these pieces have been hand dyed by one of our fabric artists. And the same thing is true with the masks. Those are all made by hand and someone sews those. So that's just a different kind of art. Okay. Pottery is another kind of art that is a lot of fun. Sometimes people make things from objects. I don't know if you can see this, but it was a giant leaf and then they took clay and they use the clay to make a bowl that looks just like the leaf. They also do things on what's called a potter's wheel. And when you have a potter's wheel, you put the clay on it and it spins really fast and you use your hands to make a very round and beautiful bowl. So lots of pottery is fun because it's beautiful to look at and it's also useful. So again, sometimes you can actually use your art. Besides having an art store, the PRCA also has what's called a gallery. And a gallery is a place where artists can exhibit their work. The gallery gets new exhibits and different artists every couple of months. And people can come in and look at the art and on a special day, there's also an artist's talk. And then the artist explains a little bit more about the work that they do so you can really appreciate what they're doing. This is called abstract art. And these paintings are actually all paintings of landscapes. So if you can imagine you're looking at fields or you're looking at lakes, maybe with sunsets in some of them, you have to use your imagination and maybe close your eyes a little bit and it might look a little bit like the fields that are outside the window of your house. Take notes. Um, I display art here and I'm working on a picture of, or it's an illustration actually from a book I'm doing called Normanism. And this picture, he's closing his eyes actually it was because there was snow in his eyes but um and then there's a little phrase that goes with it what i'm working on is pastels and this comes in these blocks or i also use these pencils and pastels are really fun because you can blend them with your fingers or um uh, or use a pencil to blend it um, and, and I worked from my iPad with a picture, where the picture is, so I can zoom in if I want to look at something real close, I can zoom in on it, and so then I know what I'm drawing up here. Hi kids, and so that's the wrap on the tour. And so I hope you had a good time. And now stay tuned for the project that's going to be coming up. Okay, see you in a little bit. Hey, now we're back from our field trip. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Did you have fun? Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. 
lots of different different people there, and you have to meet some new friends, and there's lots of art, lots of things to see. And now we get to create our own art. And so, this time, I hope you have a piece of paper, have your hands ready, and um, for surely a pencil, but then we want something to color with. And so we're gonna take a piece of paper. Mine's a little bit folded, but we're gonna, we don't want to fold it. We just want one piece of paper, and at the very bottom, we want to draw a little rectangle. Okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna make plants with our hands. So we have a little rectangle, and that's for like a flower pot, but for our hands. And so now I want you to take, I write with my right hand, but it's gonna look like my left. So I take your this hand, and I take your other hand. Take your other hand. Put it right on top of the paper. And my hands are really big, so I'm letting them get like two flowers on here with my hands. But I bet you can get four or five maybe, right? Okay. So you're gonna set it down on the piece of paper and you take your pencil and you just wanna outline only your hand. Okay. And so I'm gonna do it quickly for here for you. And then you can see it and then you can pause the video and do it yourself and then you can move on to the next step so i see my hand right right there and now i'm gonna connect it and i'm gonna bring it down okay so now it looks like a hand on a stick okay but now i'm gonna take it my hand again and I'm gonna draw it again, but I'm not gonna overlap with my other hand, okay? I'm gonna make it a little bit of an angle because our hands are gonna be flowers, okay? So, do this really fast. So, there we go. And now you can see I put my second hand and it kind of stops, right? You can see my little pinky in between the fingers of that hand, but it doesn't overlap. And so I want, so now I want you guys to try it. And I want you guys to put, hmm, you think you maybe get six hands on there? Might be difficult, but if you start at the very top and like do top and one in the middle and one at the very top and then on the sides, I bet you could get six hands. So I have pretty big hands, but I bet your hands are smaller. And then I don't have any markers, but I bet you have markers and you can color your flowers any color you want. And then you have the little stems and then the little pot that the flowers are in. And so some sometimes you can make your pot even bigger if you want, or maybe you can make it smaller. It's all up to you because you get to be the artist, right? And so that's going to wrap up this week's video. I hope you guys had a fun time and go out there and make some art, okay? See you.